Hello again, boys and girls. It's time for Poppy's Pleasant Pathways. And here we have the book for the day, The Gingerbread Man. Uh, this is another classic that has come from my household. You can see at the bottom that it's been torn, read many times, I suppose. But there's lots of great, great lessons from this book uh, that the little gingerbread man teaches us. I'm going to read it to you. And when we get done, I'm going to uh, sort of try to let you know what it is that we learned from the gingerbread man after having read this story. Okay, here we go. Once upon a time, there was a, a little old lady and a little old man. They lived in a tiny house at the very top of a high hill. The little old man liked to work in his garden he grew all kinds of good things to eat. The little old lady liked to work in her kitchen. She baked pies and cakes and cookies. One morning, the little old lady decided to bake something, something special. Whatever shall it be, she said softly to herself. She thought and she thought. Then she smiled. I know, she said, I'll make a gingerbread man. And that's exactly what she did. She gave him green striped candy buttons and a smiling cherry mouth and a currant nose and shiny raisin eyes. Last of all, she gave him a striped candy hat. Then she popped him into the oven to bake. While he baked, she sat in her chair and rocked and rocked and rocked. Soon the little old lady opened the oven door to see if the gingerbread man was baked. He was, and he winked at her. Then he hopped out of the oven and ran across the kitchen and out the open door. Stop, cried the little old lady, running after him as fast as she could. There he goes, off on an adventure. Stop! I say stop! cried the little old man as a gingerbread man ran through the garden. But the runaway gingerbread man just laughed. Run, run, as fast as you can. You can't catch me. I'm the gingerbread man. And he ran through the garden gate and off down the hill. The little old lady and the little old man ran right after him. The gingerbread man ran past a boy and his sister. They were working in their father's fine watermelon patch. Stop, shouted the little boy when he saw the gingerbread man. Please stop, cried the little girl. Together they ran after him, but the gingerbread man only laughed at them. Run, run, as fast as you can. You can't catch me. I'm the gingerbread man. I'm running away from a little old lady and a little old man, and I can certainly run away from you. I can, can, can. Look at all the folks chasing the little gingerbread man. And he could because the little old lady and the little old man and the boy and the girl just could not catch him. Try as they must, they couldn't catch the gingerbread man. See the little kitten on the fence post? Next, the gingerbread man passed a pretty gray kitten sitting up on a high fence. Oh, stop right now. Now, meowed the small gray kitten. The gingerbread man laughed and laughed. Run, run, as fast as you can. You can't catch me. I'm the gingerbread man. I've outrun a little old lady and a little old man and a boy and a girl, too. Certainly I can outrun you. On ran the gingerbread man. He's a trickster, isn't he? He meets the cow. On ran the little old lady and the little old man and the boy and the girl and the pretty gray kitten. Soon the gingerbread man passed a brown and white cow in a pleasant sunny meadow. Stop! 
do mooed the cow, but the gingerbread man laughed at the cow. Run, run as fast as you can. You can't catch me. I'm the gingerbread man. I'm running away from a little old lady and a little old man and a boy and a girl and a kitten too. Why should I stop for you? Of course, he did not stop. He ran on and on and on. Oh, I see a fox there. And so did the little old lady, the little old man, the little boy, and the little girl, the gray kitten, and the brown and white cow, but they were all getting very, very tired. Suddenly, though, the gingerbread man had to stop. He came to a river, and there was no way for him to cross that river. Just then, a red fox peeked out from behind a blackberry bush. Up onto my back, gingerbread man, he said, smiling and showing two rows of sharp, shiny teeth. I will carry you across the river. Better watch out, gingerbread man. The gingerbread man saw those teeth. So he did not hop onto the fox's back. Instead, he climbed onto the very tip of the fox's bushy tail, and they started to cross the river. The water rose higher and higher. It nearly covered the fox's bushy tail. Hop onto my back, gingerbread man, called the fox, or you will surely get wet. The gingerbread man hopped onto the fox's back. The water rose higher, until soon it nearly covered the fox's back. Do hop onto my head, gingerbread man, called the fox. You really must not get all wet. The gingerbread man hopped onto the fox's head. The water rose higher and higher. Even the fox's ears began to get wet. Hop onto my nose, gingerbread man, called the sly fox, because I would feel ever so bad if you got wet. The gingerbread man hopped, but he never landed on the fox's nose because suddenly, snip, swallow. The smart old fox ate half the gingerbread man. Snap, swallow. He ate the other half. And that was the end of the gingerbread man. But then nobody felt really bad about that. After all, everybody knew that the gingerbread men are baked to be eaten. What a great story. A couple of things to remember about the gingerbread man. You have to be careful who you trust. You know, you probably should have trusted the old man and old woman, even the cat and the brown cow. But, uh, when it came down to the end of the story, he actually trusted the fox, who was the one he should not have trusted. Be careful when you're dealing with strangers, too. And boys and girls, you got to remember that in these days, that when you're out by yourself somehow and you don't uh, have an adult with you and somebody strange comes up to you and begins asking you questions and talking to you, got to be careful. Guard yourself and make sure that you stay safe all the time. So run, run fast as you can. You can't catch me. I'm the gingerbread man. Might not be the best advice in some cases. Sometimes maybe you need to stop because there are some people who want to help you. In the end, though, we know that gingerbread men are meant to be eaten. So the fox had his meal, but uh, the little lady who cooked the gingerbread man at the very beginning really never had a chance to, to uh, have an opportunity to uh, say much to the gingerbread man because she was too busy chasing him. They all got tired. The fox was sly, and he caught him in the end. This is a Friday. Hope you guys have a great weekend. Find you some more stories, and we'll be back for Poppy, Poppy's Pleasant Pathways next Monday. Bye now.